Hello, 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 y'all. It's Nader Gator. For this video, we're going to be doing something a little fun, a little silly. Uh, we're going to be going. Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to be going in the uh, in the stock F18 for FSX Steam Edition. Um, let's just do the white livery. Uh, we'll start at San Diego. And for this video, nothing really all that special. We're just going to see how high we can go in this aircraft. Um, consideration for fuel and everything else aside, just how high we can go in this aircraft uh, at a 90 degree bank angle or somewhere around there. I'm going to try to keep it between 80 and 90. It's hard to keep it exactly at 90. But basically, we're just going to lift the thing up and see how high we can go. It should be fun. If y'all like this video, remember to uh, give a like if you like the channel and the content. Uh, please subscribe uh, if you feel obligated to do so, if you want to. As always, though, whether you enjoyed the video or not, I'm glad you took some time to uh, watch it, those of you who view it. And, yeah, so here we go. I didn't actually have my... Uh... Oh. oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I actually got my rotor pedals working this time. For the last video, it wasn't working for some reason. Like, I got on the ground and I couldn't break or steer or anything. It was odd. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to get the view set up real quick. There we go. Basically, we're just going to climb the crap out of this thing. So, let's go full power. Squirrel around on the runway a little bit. Pitch up, and I'm actually not gonna go. Um, as we we do a little wing wave, but uh, I'm not actually gonna go into the 90 degree uh, bank right away. I'm gonna set up a little bit by flying straight and level um, until we get our speed up to around 1300. I think is what it maxes out at. Like it won't let you go faster than that, but we'll see. Once the speed uh, stabilizes at whatever the max is, uh, that's when we'll pitch up as we still gain altitude. Gotta love it. We could get to Hawaii in like two hours just going to speed. <laughs> we'll see. I don't, I don't have really the time for that, but there's some island out here. I'm pretty sure we can go faster than this. Maybe not. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like I can go faster than that right now. So let's go ahead and pitch up. 10 degrees. 15 degrees. 20 degrees. We're already losing a bunch of speed. 25. 30. 35. 40. 45. 50. 55. 60. 65. 70. 75 and 80 and we'll keep around 85 is what we're going to try to do we might go up or down and look at that we're climbing around 60,000 feet per minute that's going down a little bit but that's fine that's crazy you look around that is just ridiculous we're already at 46,000 feet so gonna die of everything basically there's no <laughs> we're gonna die of everything possible that you would die from trying to do this uh, uh, unarrested descent or soon to be anyways yeah we're zero knots so we're not going anywhere uh, oh boy all right let's go let's pitch back down uh, so that was 52. <laughs> Go all over the place in the stall. Anyways, that was, uh, we got up to about 53,000 um, at the max there. I think we can do better though, so we're going to go back down uh, and try this again. 
Yeah, we burned. We burned thirty-four percent of fuel just doing that. Ah, uh, good times. Now we're just sending real quick. Fifty degree uh, angle down. Sixty-five thousand uh, minus sixty-five sixty-five thousand feet per minute. We're back to overspeeding. We're going to uh, pitch up a little bit because the key is you kind of gotta you want to start higher than you were. You just kind of want to keep stepping it up so that you can get a higher altitude each time. As uh, what I found by doing this, in some trial runs, I've been able to get up to around um, eighty thousand feet or so. So we'll see if we can do that today. Actually, I'm an idiot. I forgot to do a few things that could actually help her speed. One of them is putting the gear up. Um, I think everything else is good, though. That might have helped on the last one. <laughs> Blooper reel. already well off the coast of anything really still heading uh, south uh, west southwest ish it's airspeed cinching up there All right, let's try from 1,210. So let's start pitching up again. Airspeed starts to drop rapidly through 20 degrees, 25, 30, 35, 40. Countdown, countdown. <laughs> Sixty-five, seventy, eighty, eighty-five. Okay, so we'll keep it at eighty-five. Fish. Right around there. We're pretty much just going straight up. All sorts of crazy. There's land. We once knew what land was. We don't anymore. We just know the sky and the stars. Up through 64,000. Now doing a lot better than the first one. Let's kind of cheap our angle around 85. 70,000 now. So this is a much better run. It's amazing what putting the gear up can do for you. <laughs> Look around now. We're just all over the place. Might actually be getting blown backwards. And yeah, we're gonna start coming back down now. So 75,000 is the max on that one. I think we can do even better than that. We will see here in a moment. You have to go down a long ways to get that airspeed back, so I'm trying to balance it. First run was 54th or 53,000. Second run was 75,000. I think we can make it to 80 on this one. One of the cool things about FSX compared to previous flight sims is that the uh, the world actually looks like a world in this, so it gets pretty cool to see what it looks like when you get up there. I know Simviation has like some kind of spacecraft or something. As yes, we get the default ATC. Anyways, I'm pretty sure um, Simviation has a download that's like a, it's like a uh, stock spacecraft or something, and you can actually fly it up to FSX's max altitude or whatever that is. Um, because I've done that before, and I've gotten up to like 125,000 feet, I think, or something, and then the game crashes on you, which kind of sucks. But all right, what do we? Have? What do we got of fuel now? 26%. Great. Uh, do I have unlimited fuel check? I'm just going to check that real quick, guys. Uh, it's not there. Might be in your options. General. Uh, 
Where is it? I know there's an option for limited fuel. Controls? Sorry to take a video time doing this. I just want to make sure I don't die. It's, there's sim, sim die. <laughs> uh, it might be this one. Aircraft. Scenery. Weather. Where is it? <laughs> Gosh, this is annoying. I would have thought it'd be under aircraft, but I guess not. Um, oh, realism settings, baby. Uh, ignore crash and damage. Unlimited fuels checked. Okay, we're good. Anyways, we gained some speed back here. Want to get to at least eight or nine hundred knots. Uh, we'll probably be around thirty thousand or so when we do that. But we will find out. Actually, you know, let's pitch down eighty-five degrees or so, and then come back up. That'll make it a little more fun. And down we go. Let's see if that works for us. Through 60 degrees, already at minus 90,000 feet per minute. That's a little crazy. Keep going. And pull up. And we're back at zero. Now going 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80. Oh, ah, ah. Ah, come. No, 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 There we go. So that's what I'm afraid of if I go, if I flip the thing over and then I'm all discombobulated. Or however you might want to call it. And our airspeed is dropping fast. Holy cow. We're up through 52,000. I don't know if we're going to be able to sustain, or if we're going to be able to do better than the last one. We'll find out, though. There we go. Still going. 70,000. Yes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Get up there. You can do it. 74. <laughs> 70. Ah, oh, he didn't even get the 75. Shoot. Yeah, I didn't even get the 75. That's a bummer. Just look how cool the world looks, though. That's just awesome, in my opinion. IRL. Or SIM, I guess. SIM RL. That makes sense, right? Anyways. Alright, let's try one more dive from the beginning, though. So we're just going to pitch down at, like, 85 here, like we're doing. As we get super crazy. I'm pretty sure, so I think my max, because I've done this before, my max doing this has been around 81 or 82,000. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we can get there. So we'll see what happens. We'll probably make this our last attempt, though. We'll see what happens. All right, let's pull up. Through zero, 40, and 80, 85, keep it there. 94,000 feet per minute, that's not going to F you up at all. Gosh, airspeed's going on super quick on this one, though. I'm not even sure we're going to be able to get to uh, 70,000. Probably not the smartest idea, just going down and pulling up right away. I actually don't know what the best strategy for this would be. I'm just kind of trial and error with, uh, with all of this. There's a sun. Low sun. But yeah, I love how the world looks in FSX. I think that's just 
For 2006, that's a huge advancement in graphics, the way they're able to do that. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. Come on. 73. Ah, we're not going to get there. Gosh dang it. Alright, we got to go. We got to go back down. All right, one more try. If we can't get on this one, then we'll call it good at 75,000. But I I I almost want to swear we can do better than that. We're going to try something a little different, just a more moderate descent of at 40 degrees instead of 85, cuz you know, that's a normal thing that you would hear. Anyways, airspeed's climbing back up. Less than a minute, I'd be down to the ground if I keep this descent rate. <laughs> Alright. I'm feeling pretty good about this one, guys. Still climbing in the airspeed. All right, let's head back up. We can do it on this one. I can feel it. 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, keep it around there. 97,000 feet per minute at our peak for that. And now we wait. Come on. Averages are looking pretty in our favor right now. If we can just keep that going here. Come on, 60, okay. And we'll get to 70 easily on this one. Through 100 at our speed, though. 73, 74, 75, and 76. We passed our first one. I am satisfied with that. See how high we can get. 78. I don't think we'll make it to 79, but let's see. And we're not going to quite make it to 79, but we made it to 78,400 or so, and that earth just looks beautiful. Perfect timing too, sunset and everything. I think we can call it good. 78,400, highest we made it, uh, climbing at 85 degrees. And... Yeah, so first attempt, 53,000, second attempt, 75,000. Hovered around there for a little bit, but finally pushed through, got to 78,000. I am happy with that. If you guys like this video, give a like. If you like the channel content, uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, of course, it's optional. I'm not, nobody's forcing you to, but it really helps out. It helps with the views, helps with everything. Um, regardless of whether you like the video or not, though, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.